Hello, this is Jeff with the uh, JNA Junction. I'm going to do a uh, short review here on my new um, Mike String House engine I got yesterday. Um, like I say, um, I just want to do a review on it, uh, show you the detailed parts and stuff on this. Um, okay, first of all, it is a EMD SD40 2 diesel. This thing's got uh, two precision flywheel quick motors, a quarter scale detail, uh, dimensions, all metal wheels and gears, compatible with most AC transformers, Proto Sound Electronic Reverse Unit, die cast six wheel trucks, weighs over four pounds, an accurately detailed ABS body. Directional constant voltage, headlights, measures are approximately 17 and a half inches by 2 and 5 eighths and by 3 and 3 quarter. And it's got operating proto smoke, smoke system, die cast truck sides, pallet and fuel tank, lighted cab interior, it's got cab engineer figures, it's got remote Controlled uh, proto couplers, stamped metal floor, operates on A31 track, includes proto sound digital sound with squilling brakes and freight yard sounds by QSI. Um, this is a Chessie CNO 7532 SD40 diesel engine 3 rail proto sound. Item number 20-2216-1. Um, I paid uh, $229.95 for this engine and 1680 shipping. Um, this is brand new, but I cannot run this engine yet until I get uh, the BCR for it. I'm expected to get delivery on that either tomorrow, Wednesday, or Thursday. Um, cause like I say, this thing was made in 2000 and it said it's never been run, so, so I don't trust that, uh, the old battery in it. I'm afraid it'll mess the, uh, boards or something up in it and, and I will be in trouble. So then I'll have to send it off and get it repaired. So and I don't want to do that if I can help it. So, but I hope this runs okay. <laughs> okay, let's get it out of the box here. <laughs> camera down here a little bit so I can get it out here. Also this does have the original manual to it. It's got all the paperwork in it. Also, it's got the uh, it's got the smoke fluid in it. Also, it's got the uh, the plow for the front of the engine, and here's the screws to it. Also, got extra traction tires. <laughs> Here's the engine in the box here. Let me set the camera down here and get it out here. Okay, here it is. Okay, you can see the crew figure in the cab here. Okay, 
and you see all the detailed stuff on here and also by the way I forgot to mention it this is a premier engine you see the brake wheel and you can see the you know the, the horn here and the, this is the smoke unit and it's got fans in here but I'm not sure where if they turn or not but I haven't tried to see if they would but and you can see the long walkways and everything um, you know like I say on the uh, the SD40-2 <laughs> so here's the back of it it's got red LEDs in it I don't know whether they light or not I think they do and here's the headlight and the number boards and it does got proto uh, couplers on it they operate remotely both on both the front and the, and the back both <laughs> Uh, here's the other side. You can see how well detailed it is. <laughs> here's the other uh, crew figure. And it's got see-through uh, grills. Here too, you can see the light through them. Like I say, you can see the detailed stuff here on the tank. And on the trucks here on the each side here and okay, here's the underneath of it this is the volume control for the smoke unit this is the speaker and it does got a couple switches on it here to turn the smoke unit off and also the, the change of direction on the uh, for the uh, the coupler for the front and the back coupler Whatever which one you want to change. <laughs> okay, here's the front of it. It's got green LEDs in the front. And then it's got, like I say, the number boards and the light. And also, uh, this thing does got ditch lights on it. Um, like I say, really, Chessie didn't have the ditch lights, but I think some of them, they did add some to the, some of their engines before it went to uh, CSX. Like I say, this has got the, the uh, electronic uh, party coupler on the front, too. And you can see the big walkway. But like I say, I can't run this until... Uh, till I get my BCR for it because this engine was made in 2000 and uh, and I don't want to put the uh, try to run this with this old battery in it because I it might uh, mess the board and stuff up in it so so I'm just waiting until I get the uh, get the new bo uh, the new battery BCR I'm just putting the BCR in it so that way I won't have to worry about it no more so But a uh, very nice engine, even though it's a conventional engine. Um, I say I, it doesn't matter to me, say, it, uh, whether it's conventional or whatever. It's Everybody's so picky about stuff, it, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but and here's a bell here. Really, this bell is supposed to be on the side of the engine. It's not. Um... My SD50 is like that too, and Mike's train house uh, like that too. I don't know why, but but uh, I'll do a uh, video on this thing whenever um, I get the new battery for it, um, so we can y'all can hear the sounds and and see the lights and stuff in it. So I hope everything works, cause uh, the guy uh, I. The guy I got it off of, he said it's never been run, so, so I hope it's not where it sits so long as it's something's, you know, not going to work right in it, but just have to wait and see, so just hope and pray that it works fine, that I don't have to send it off and get it repaired. Okay, and you can see where the front F on the engine 
Okay, this is Jeff with uh, JNA Junction. Uh, please subscribe, rate, comment. Thanks.